Today I am going to show you how to make a piano game in scratch. Hello guys, so here we are in our scratch project and I have all the background and sprites already set up and if you want to use this background image which I have designed I have provided the link in the description and all the other sprites are designed in the built-in designer of scratch so it's easy you can just design your own keys I'm not going to I'm going to skip the designing part because it's going to take uh, a bit of time and I want to make this tutorial short and concise for the learning process and my main focus is to teach the logic so in scratch design completely depends on your creativity so let's jump into coding here I am in my main note and I am going to the yeah so uh, we are going to use an extension which you can see here this uh, music extension if you can see this music extension basically you can go to the bottom left of your uh, scratch program and add extension and from here you can just select any extension you want So I have already added and it gives me a bunch of blocks that uh, deals the music logic. Now here I am in the background with the green flag event which basically uh, is the entry point of our program. So here we are going to set the instrument to piano. So after setting the piano instrument we will start coding the notes. So here I am in my main note and there is a, a block that's called let me zoom in a bit yeah play note so this is going to yeah you can see that this is going to play notes for us these are basically beats if you set the instrument to uh, something else it will sound a, a bit different okay if i set it to electric piano you can see that the sound is changed so that's why i set a uh, piano in the background when we click the green flag so that our instrument doesn't change by accident I am going to basically create a bunch of clone of the main note and these clones are going to fade away and uh, from the main sprite which will uh, which will add a bit of animation purpose you know to the sprite and what should we do with the clones and for that clones we have when I start as clone event it should do a bunch of uh, Codes. Now, in this case, I am going to add brightness or oh, sorry, ghost. Yeah. Now, why I, I cannot add other col uh, other uh, effects is because my uh, key color is completely black. So, color effect and other effects are not going to work uh, that much well. Uh, for that purpose, I am using the ghost effect. But if you add colors to your sprite, then you can hack around with other effects as well. I am going to stick to ghost effect. Yeah. So you can see that it's working. But uh, what happens? Yeah. There is another uh, problem. It's not a problem. Actually, it's a good uh, coding practice. The clones we have created are actually in the game. So we must delete those clones otherwise it will hold the memory and uh, by when it reaches the maximum memory it will uh, start creating clones. So after the end of the code delete this clone is uh, of course you want to do because deleting is good and I don't know why green flag okay yeah so a uh, green flag actually it cleans up the memory we are going to add another block that's called uh, go to front layer which is going to bring that clones to front and let's see how it works now yeah that's uh, that's good i like it now this was the uh, complete logic 
of uh, the whole piano for the next sprite and for the rest of the sprites the code is going to be same now this time i am going to add a different node last time we had a value of 6 and when you uh, hover over and click to the value uh, it actually uh, pops down a piano for you and uh, you can easily select a, whichever key you want so in my case i have a almost uh, similar design so i am going to replicate the pattern so i am going to select this which is basically a uh, 61 okay so in my case 61 i'm going to zoom out a bit so i have place for the other code the rest process is same as the last sprite i'm going to make it the same key and this is going to create clones for our animation and how many clones uh, we want five clones per click so we have this create clone of myself and we should talk to the clones as well so when i start as a clone the clone should do something like repeat five times two blocks of chords this can be our color but uh, i think i cannot use color on this because it's a darker color so color is not going to look that much cool if you had a light color or single color it should have worked but you can check it in your own projects and you can and you can do your experiments all that stuff that's completely up to you change the size by i think 5 yeah and the most important thing delete this clone so we have code ready for both of our sprites now let's check them whenever i press a and w yeah i want this to be on front so that we can see when we press w yeah another thing uh, i am going to add is uh, i guess i can add pixelate to my sprite let's see yeah it's uh, pixelating our sprite now let me decrease the value to 10 not this one yeah for the rest of the part i'm going to uh, repeat the process i'm going to duplicate i'm going to fast forward the video you can pause the video wherever you want but for this purpose i'm going to fast forward the video So after completing the setup and duplication, we have our project completed. Let's give it a final check if it's working. So I know that's an awkward sound, but I'm not good at music though. That's all for today. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.